thank you so much for joining me today for another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Laura McCarty. I'm an abstract and fluid artist. Um, I typically do not post my abstract work. I just usually post the um, fluid art that I do. Uh, I'll show you a couple of pieces one of these days. Just if you want me, to, if you're interested, I'd be happy to uh, do a video on them. But I'm going to be doing a triptych today on three uh, 10 by 20 inch canvases using some beautiful blues. I'm going to do a balloon technique and then stretch it out. That way it gives me the softness that I want um, and also the cells that I want and I can stretch them out. Now I've done different techniques with swiping and stretched it. Um, in fact, I'll put the link up here in the corner of the video um, if you're interested. And um, But I wanted to try doing a balloon technique and then stretching that out. So, thank you so much again for joining me. Let's get started. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being with me today. I'm working on three 10 by 20 inch canvases. I'm going to do one at a time. I just think it's going to be a little bit easier. I, I don't have that much space. I mean, I can fit them on my table, but it just seemed like it was going to be a little bit easier for me to do one at a time. So, what I'm using for my pillow paint is Color Place Classic. This is actually antique white. Um, it works just fine. I've used it before in some other um, uh, paintings, so it, it turns out great. And I've got all these blues. I do have some iridescent pearl and some gold. And then I'm going to be using black as my cell activator. I'll list all the different ingredients that I put in my balloon paints, um, as well as the uh, base, the petal paint, I guess, not petal paint, base paint, excuse me, that um, I'm laying down. But I'll put it all in the description. Okay. So I'm just gonna put down some of this paint right in the middle. There we go. And the antique white turns out beautiful, it turns out fine, especially since I'm gonna be stretching this out. Um, it doesn't really matter whether you have the antique white or the off white or regular white or whatever. I found that they all work. Okay. Now, if you use untinted, <laughs> that won't work. There we go. Just kind of skipped a little bit in the middle there. All right. I'm just going to have this go around just a little bit. Okay. Got something in my paint right here. All right. Pop those air bubbles. Okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to do a couple different blooms on here. There we go. And I'll start with this beautiful golden color teal. Golden's colors are just so vibrant and beautiful. I love them. In fact, I was basically out of this color because they're so pigmented. Um, I put my mixture in the bottle, shook it up, and it gave me plenty of paint, as you can see. All right, and that. Oh, you know what? This is my teal. This is turquoise. I'm sorry, I had that mixed up. Okay, put some iridescent pearl. There we go. This is Sapphire by Arteza. Draw a little on three there, through the other colors. That way your colors kind of blend and mix. And I'm gonna put some gold. And each bloom doesn't have to be the same. In fact, I'm not gonna be doing them exactly the same. All right, the gold. And some of this iridescent green blue by Pepeo. There we go. Okay. I'm going to pour this on here. Now this is, it. when you see it poured, watch. Mine, I think, is quite a bit thinner than a lot of people's. It works just fine. Um, I know there's different recipes, but this seems to work for me, so I'm, I just stick with it. All right, now I'm going to blow this out. Just got my hair dryer on low. It's my little blow dryer.
And it is perfectly fine that it's not in a specific or, or that it's not in a perfect flower because I'm going to stretch it out anyway. So it's perfectly fine. I am going to blow this out just a little bit just so some cells will come up. Get my necklace back. There we go. All right, perfect. Move on to the second one. around the sides just gives it such a soft look when it's stretched out it's really pretty and the thing about this triptych is I'm not trying to get them to per se match up like at a certain area or anything it's just the cohesiveness will come from all of the same technique and the same paints here we go. I don't need all that paint, but that's all right. I'm heavy handed sometimes. Okay. Just making sure I've got enough wet canvas so that it moves well. All right, here we go. Oh, let me torch. Hot. This one's beautiful. They're all beautiful in their own way. And as you can tell, they're not perfectly blown out. They don't have to be. Just stretching this out. Go ahead and go over a little bit. Come back this way because I don't want to totally lose all of this. And if I don't, Come back time, then I will. Keep going. Oh yeah, plenty of paint. Look at all that paint gripping off. It's definitely a table scraper. <laughs> okay. All right, pretty. Now this big white area, I'm not thrilled with, so I'm gonna try and come back some towards me. That looks like a butterfly wing. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, almost dropped it. Got so much paint. I used way too much paint, but I'll scrape my table. Use it for something else. There we go. Oh, I love it. I'm just trying to get the composition a little bit better. Okay. I'll come back. Sorry. There is something in my paint right in the middle. What I'm trying to do is stretch out this blue corner and then I'm gonna come back the other way
There we go. So it'll stretch out those cells on that corner. I love this. Okay. I think that's good. Gorgeous. I love it. Boy, did I use way too much paint. Which, you know. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my second piece. Let me set it up and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm ready to do my second one. I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did with the first one. But I'm going to try not to use as much paint. <laughs> I used way too much paint on the first one. There we go. It's just, I'm heavy handed. I can't help it. I know. I will scrape this to paint it, though, and use it in something else. Because I'm very used to doing that. Because I do use too much paint. Like I said, I'm just heavy-handed. Here I go again. Look. That's probably enough paint, and I'm still dumping. Okay. I'm just going to move this around a little bit. I was going to tell you, um, while you were off camera... I used my blowtorch and popped the air bubbles in the other one. So, I, I forgot to do that. Um, but, and I didn't want any pinholes or anything. So, don't forget to pop your air bubbles. Number two, I've got one more piece. It's gorgeous. Okay, let me get set up and I'll show you number three. Okay, here are all three pieces. I don't know what happened with my camera on the third one. This is my third one right here. It did not, it was on and then it just quit filming. I don't know what's going on. That's happened to me a couple of times recently. But yeah, it is very pretty. I love this color combination. I love the movement in these pieces. And I'll turn my lights out in just a moment so you can see this shimmer. But they're gorgeous. This just looks almost just, I don't even know, just see-through in 3D. 
But all three pieces are gorgeous. Here's my third one. Actually, this was the first one I did. And I found a duck. That looks 100% like a duck to me right here. <laughs> Have a little bird. Okay, let me turn my lights out so you can see the shimmer. Okay, my lights are out, and you can see there's going to be shimmer throughout the entire piece. I've got iridescent green blue, that sapphire, iridescent pearl. This is so pretty. There's my little duck head. Beautiful feathers. <laughs> Almost looks like the feathers are coming up and around like this. I love it. And the gold. They're all beautiful. That is so cool right there. The gold underneath. This is the one that I thought I lost a lot of gold in, but... As you can see, it showed up when I stretched. I thought that it would. But yeah, there's shimmer throughout all of them. Again, I apologize for not getting the third one, but I thought the entire, all three pieces turned out so pretty. I wanted to show them to you. So yeah, gorgeous. Again, let me get on my step tool. There's all three of them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And as always, you have a great day. Until next time, bye.